YouTube, what's up man? It's your boy Sheen coming back to you with another video. Now today's video is how to get rich on deployment. Now when I say that, I mean like how to basically make extra money when you're on deployment and all that, make yourself well off, make yourself good. You know what I'm saying? All right, now first of all, let me tell you all the things that I go over in this video, I'm not advising you to go do it. I'm not telling you that this is what you should do. Da, da, da. Cause maybe not all the things are like for the, like some things are, I guess, against the rules. So, but I'm keeping it real with y'all. I'm telling you what really goes on. So, all right. So one of the things, these are in no order, but one of the things that you can do to make extra money on the ship is cutting hair. Some people cut hair and some ships allow you, I know my ship, you can actually use, they have barbershops on the ship. You can sign up and you can go work in the barbershop, but you they can't pay you. They can't tip you, none of that type of stuff. But some people want to, they, they cut hair in the heads, in the bourbons, you know what I'm saying? And they get paid that way. So, because it, a lot of times the, the barbers in the ship store, I mean, the, like the ship barbers, the ones like the SHs, some of them not that good. So, it may be somebody, a prior background, maybe used to be a barber or something like that, where they just learned the craft and they a lot better than the guys that's there. And I've seen uh, people charge usually, you know, 15 to 20 dollars maybe 10 dollars and but when you about to pull into a port some people pull up and I'm, i've seen haircuts go for about 50 dollars like a day before a port so because supply and demand baby that's, that's all it is supply and demand you got what i need and it's in high demand we better get off the ship another big one that i've seen is some people do other people's laundry now i know first thing you think like yo what i'm not giving my laundry to somebody else let them wash my laundry for me or i'm not I'm not washing somebody else's dirty clothes. Now, you may feel that way, but when that bread come, you may think different. So, I'm telling you, money and making somebody do some crazy things. I've seen it go $15 a bag, $15 a load, you know, $20 a load, something like that. Or you may charge extra if you fold the laundry. So, it can be, it can be pretty, you know what I'm saying? That, or and some people get stationed like TAD. So, TAD is temporary assigned duty, so they may go cranking also known so usually like cranking most people go to like the mess decks like i went to the mess decks and all that but some people get sent down to ship's laundry where they wash they basically wash they wash the ship's laundry anyway so they have industrial laundry uh like a laundry uh mat so they may wash other people's laundry in the meantime and get paid for it another big one is going to be the rate specific hookups now if you don't know what a hookup is it's usually like i give you this in exchange for this you know thing like that because money isn't really a big issue when you're on deployment everybody getting paid it ain't too many places to spend your money whether it lets you blowing it in the ship store you blowing it on amazon so it ain't really too many ways for you to blow your money unless you just got extreme bills and debt and all of that but other than that the rate specific hookups will be like so cs which is a culinary specialist so in a sense the cooks right they sometimes they may sell meals they may uh sell quesadillas quesadillas may go five ten dollars a piece you know stuff like that and it's all profit because they're not paying for the ingredients and they making food anyway so on the side when they grill if they want to put a little case and they make it in about 30 seconds with a quesadilla or if they want to make you you know they can pretty much make you whatever you want uh they can cook so pay for a platter pay for a meal because they know they know the food out there ain't ain't as appetizing as what they can provide so they can charge you for that so that's another way i know the prs sometimes if you need some blackout curtains where well, a blackout curtain is on your rack it's uh we got these blue curtains and they thin so when somebody turns lights on it comes straight through your rack right but you can get these blackout curtains and they got this material uh that they put on the back side of it and they'll sew it on boom now now your rack is dark like it's like a pitch black effect and they may charge you i don't know how much they may charge you for that you may just have to bring them a couple monsters you know stuff like that so and like i said making money is all about supply and demand on the ship so what if you got something that someone needs the the, the, the amount of money they're willing to pay for it goes up so especially when you can target someone's addiction so it sounds crazy you know, but some people are really addicted to nicotine and sometimes the ship store may run out of cans of dip or something like that. So I've seen people uh, stack up on rolls, like the, I forgot, I think they call it rolls, like the rolls of dip and it gets to that crunch time in deployment. Now don't try to sell it in the beginning of deployment, you know what I mean? But I've seen people wait it out to like the, the we deep in the deployment and the ship store run out of um, 
run out of dip. I've seen somebody go down, buy all the dip, just so they can resell it, which is, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And then you make a, a pretty good profit off of it because like I said, you're targeting someone's addiction. Some people, they can't go a day without that amount of nicotine, so they willing to pay whatever they gotta pay for it. I've seen, I've seen rolls go for sixty dollars and stuff like that. So people will stack a whole sea bag full of stuff like that, and they just get their jamming underway. Another thing that people usually target is people's liberty. So when we pull into different ports, let's say we pull into Australia, which is a favorite port amongst everybody. Everybody wanted a duty day off. Everybody want this in Australia now. If you just a guy and you don't you trying to save money, you trying to make money, you don't care about going out, you don't care about living your life or whatever, you somebody will pay you to take their duty day. So a duty day is where they have to stay on the ship 24, 24 hours, so they can't even go out into town, they can't do none of that type, so they stuck on the ship working. So you can take their duty day, and I've seen duty days get sold for about two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars, because people just really want that day off. Because you got to think, if you want a whole deployment, and then we only got five days somewhere. One of those days you're gonna be on duty, so I've seen people spend up to two, two hundred fifty dollars just to get that day off. So that can be your money if you're willing to just not go out, or you're willing to just take an extra day doing duty uh, amongst your own duty. So it's up to you. And you know, just it's it's other ways that people make money on a ship that I just really don't want to go into because it's it's some shady way, it's some shady stuff go down, you know. But that stuff you gotta learn in the fleet. It's all experiences. And I hope, hopefully I don't get too much flack for this video trying to say that I'm trying to, you know, support this and support that because obviously I'm just keeping it real with y'all, man. I'm just letting y'all know what really go down. And it's like a it's like a jail bartering system on deployment. And, and everybody that's been out to sea can, can side with me on that, no matter their rank, no matter where they are. So just keeping it real, you know, make sure, hey, and also I've been posting, I posted a story time on my Instagram for my IGTV. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram, it's a whole full length video on there for my story times. And just make sure you go get the Instagram, it's gonna be around here. And make sure y'all stay fish like referee whistle. God bless y'all, let's get it.